Holy man. So Super Mario Odyssey, uh, I knew it was selling well. Nintendo's financial briefing update said 2 million units were sold in the first three days. But they didn't break down where, you know, where those units came from, which countries were doing best. And now we have some additional data that not only tells you that the first three days were amazing, we have data from the first five days in the United States that are extremely, extremely impressive. Uh, and now we have some information from Europe as well. So first, let's cover the stuff I already knew that I didn't make a specific video about because I was waiting for more sales updates. Super Mario Odyssey is the fastest selling 3D Mario game in Japan. It sold over 500,000 copies on the first few days, and that's just amazing. The next closest one was a little over 300,000. Uh, and to put it into bigger perspective, in Japan, only two games in the entire Mario franchise outpaced Super Mario Odyssey. And you guess what those are? New Super Mario Brothers on Wii and New Super Mario Brothers on DS. So, yeah, outside of the first, you know, time bringing back 2D Mario, nothing has sold faster than Super Mario Odyssey in Japan. And you figure, well, maybe that's where the story ends. But no. Let's head on over to Europe. So, Nintendo says that Super Mario Odyssey has become the fastest selling Super Mario game ever across Europe. So none of the games are ahead of it. Uh, it surpassed the launch weekend sales of Super Mario Galaxy 2, which came to Wii several years ago. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey is also the fastest selling Switch game in Europe. No numbers given, but obviously this is good news. When you're the fastest selling Mario game ever released in the whole of Europe, that's just intense. Now here's one where we do get some sales figures. And this includes two additional days that were not part of Nintendo's financial briefing at the time. Because, well, frankly, the game hadn't been out for five days at the time of that briefing. Um, Mario Odyssey has sold apparently one point one million copies in the u.s in the first five days and apparently now they're clarifying here it is the fastest selling super mario game ever there are some some mainline mario games that aren't called super mario so it's a little bit play on pr to try to get that best selling mario game ever thing going but here's the press release that they sent to my email it says in just five days the new super mario odyssey video game for the nintendo switch system sold more than oh sorry more than 1.1 million units in the u.s alone that makes it the fastest selling super mario game ever in the united states surpassing and this is what's really impressive the new super mario bros wii game super mario odyssey is also the fastest selling game so far for the nintendo switch the game has already been enjoyed by well over a million people and is likely to be enjoyed by many more as those early players continue to spread their excitement for mario on metacritic.com which aggregates scores from certain reviewers for example the game currently has a an, a critical review average of 97 with 43 perfect scores. This makes Super Mario Odyssey the best reviewed game on Metacritic for any system of the last three years, tied only with Nintendo Switch launch game Breath of the Wild. The public continues to respond positively to Mario's latest adventures, said Reggie fils Nintendo of America's president and COO. We are seeing sales momentum for Nintendo Switch thanks to an ever-growing catalog of games from large publishers and indie developers. Nintendo has increased supplies of the Nintendo Switch to meet demand through the holidays. The total number of Nintendo Switch systems sold in the United States through the end of October now stands at 2.6 million. Oh my gosh. Let me explain something to you about that 2.6 million mark. They just did that financial brief update. Through September 30th, the Switch had sold 2 million units in the United States. You know what that means for the month of October? Nintendo sold 600,000 units of the Nintendo Switch in the month of October. I'm sure Super Mario Odyssey had a big like deal to do with that. People ordering the Odyssey bundle uh, and just the fact that the Switch was just plentiful in October in general. That's huge. That's 600,000 before we even get to the major holiday month of November. Uh, it, could, it could end up moving a million. No wonder Nintendo updated their projections from 10 million to, what is it, 14 or 16 million or whatever it was because... Uh, look at what's happening. 600,000 in the very first month that the Switch was easy to get your hands on, and we haven't even hit the full holiday stride. This is... Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Now, is sale momentum going to continue through November? It should, thanks to the Black Friday shopping you know, season at the end of this month. Uh, but there's also third-party games, and it'll be interesting to see if third-party games this month can carry the load until Xenoblade Chronicles 2 comes out. Now, there has been some criticism of Nintendo because they haven't really been... Uh, they did that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 uh, long feature in a direct, and that was nice and everything, but they haven't... That kind of long feature doesn't really advertise the game well. And let me explain. Uh, the one complaint I had when the last time they showed off Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is it was just too much. It was information overload. Uh, and when you do the, an information overload like that in a very complex game like a JRPG, uh, it could really be off-putting. And to be fair, I was kind of put off by Xenoblade Chronicles 2 just because of how much information was thrown at you at once. It's too much. Uh, in a game like Xenoblade, you don't need to show off all of the complexities of it. Uh, people just need to know those complexities exist. And ever since then, they really haven't said anything about the game. Uh, I haven't seen any TV ads for it, which of course, you know, with Odyssey right now, I won't expect TV ads for another couple weeks. But uh, Nintendo needs to do a better job promoting that game in this final month leading up to release. I mean, we're less than a month away officially as of today for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 coming out, uh, which will be arguably Nintendo's like biggest in terms of uh, world and maybe even gameplay time game that they've released on Switch themselves. So it would be nice to see that get I want to see Xenoblade treated like Zelda and Mario and Splatoon. I want to see Nintendo actually put a real marketing budget behind it because um, JRPGs sell. They, people just need to know they exist. But yeah, I'm I'm really excited about these numbers. I mean, Odyssey is just doing insane. I knew Odyssey was going to do well, right? When the, when it, the day before release comes out, we're recording the, uh, this week's podcast, and we're seeing all these perfect scores and all this. I'm like, okay, Odyssey is going to blow up. Clearly, these are the kind of sales numbers Zelda probably would have did if it released at this time, if this number of switches were out. Um, man. 1.1 million over that, 600,000 units of the Switch selling in the United States. Fastest selling Super Mario game, beating out Super Mario Wii, beating out all the Mario games released in Europe, beating out almost every single Mario game in Japan. This is just, wow. Wow. You guys wanted some positivity on the channel. This is some pretty positive stuff right here. Odyssey... Could it end up being the best-selling 3D Mario game of all time? I think it's got a top 13 million, I believe, to become the best-selling 3D Mario game. Uh, to become the best-selling 2D Mario game, it's got a long ways to go. I think you got to get like over 20 or 30. Um, I can't remember the, the sales numbers for like the NES uh, the, uh, NES Mario game. I think is really really high. I I can't remember. I think it's at 40 million, 50 million. Uh, so I don't think it could ever become. I mean, maybe it will become the best-selling Mario game ever. I I, I don't know. Um, but this is, wow. And Switch, baby. Did Nintendo under-project? <laughs> I mean, think about it. They were just at, what was it? This is just counting United States sales because we don't have full figures. Uh, well, we do have full figures, I think, for Japan or a good idea on the figures. But <laughs> I believe the last figures were 7.67 million units sold. Just in the United States alone, that got pushed over eight. Uh, if you throw Japan sales in there and European sales, we could be looking at already nine million units in sales before we get to the major selling month of November. Uh, man, <laughs> oh man, is it possible by 2018 uh, that we could be over 10, o over 11, over 12 million units sold? Uh, it's possible. It, it could be there. Uh, we obviously don't know what's going to happen in 2018 because we don't have a lineup of games um, with release dates yet known. But, oh, man. Good on you, Nintendo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Switch, for all the criticisms I have, um, I love the Switch. It is the perfect console at the perfect time. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned because I'm, I'm thinking about working on a video about how uh, Vita actually was the true precursor to switch rather than wii u like a lot of people are assuming although obviously i understand the wii u sentiment that's a nintendo system but there's actually a lot of similarities oddly enough between what the Vita was capable of doing and what the switch is capable of doing not from a power perspective but like the idea behind the consoles uh and the functionality of those consoles uh and why it's working for nintendo versus why vita failed for sony um i have an interesting take on that 
So we'll see if I can round that up into a video today. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing a, a quick comparison like that. I'm not going to go into every nitty-gritty detail, but uh, I think there's an interesting comparison to be made uh, about why Vita actually kind of did what Switch is doing, but didn't do it uh, good enough for certain reasons. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rovadance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button, subscribe for more content, and I will catch you in the next one. Yes.